Problem 11. Jack wants to bike from his house to Jill's house, which is located three blocks east and two blocks north of Jack's house. So let's draw ourselves a grid, right? It's going to be three blocks, so three blocks east, but then two blocks north. So that's Jack's house and that's Jill's house, right? Now, after biking, Jack can either, he can only go east and he can go north, um, but he needs to avoid a dangerous intersection, which is right here, one block east and one block north. And how many ways can he reach Jill's house by biking five blocks? Well, if he cannot uh, go here, then effectively, what are the number of routes he can take? Well, it's just going to look like this. Because he cannot go here, here. You can only go here, 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 here. So, we can just simply count it at this point, right? We can say, right, um, and remember, um, this is a arbitrary, like, dash line. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 2. But then he could do, uh, I'll do this in green. He could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's 3. And then he can do, uh, I'll do this in blue. He can do 1, 2, right, 3, 4, 5, go up. So that's 4. Now that enumerates all the cases, and obviously, just looking at this diagram, right, you're not going to expect a lot of them. And since you only got 4, right, there's, and the, you can validate it, right? Because if you go up, there's only one way. The only other ways come from going down. So obviously, e eliminating the obvious one, we just want to know here. You can either go here, but the other choice is going up. So basically, we have enumerated all cases. So that's four, and your answer choice is answer choice A.